Hey, this is Wayne here with Trent Candy Locksmith, and today we're going to be installing a great house lock. Uh, basically, I got this locks tree right here, and this is for demonstration purposes. And we're going to be doing some really cool demonstrations on this, uh, comparing high security locks to big box store junkie locks. Um, and so I figured I would make some videos on how to do these basic installations as we go. So. First thing we're going to do is take this and take our latch and the measurement from here to here is the one that you should be concerned about. This is already set for a 2 and 3 eighths back set. This line or that little hex shaped T shaped piece should be in the middle of the hole. That's where it needs to be. If not, if it's not far enough, you can rotate or do something with this and it, it pops out. Uh, which way does it go here? Let's see if we can figure that out real quick. I'm sure it says in the instructions somewhere. Spanish side. Probably not going to be much help to me. Blah, 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 blah. Door with a template. Okay, somehow that moves from there to there. It should just. There it goes. Okay. Yes. So basically, it just pulls out, you pull and twist. Past that, and then back. Okay, so that's how we do that. So if you need to, you twist, and you pull it out. Now it's two and three quarters. You can tell it's too much because it's not going in all the way. Not flush, so that's the incorrect one. So we'll go ahead and twist that and put it back to the two and three eighths, which is the correct one. And boom. There we go. Open and ready to go. So as far as this goes, pretty basic, simple installation. We're going to have bolts that go through like so. And you can see that these are just, you know, pretty cheaply made, uh, like uh, pot material. Um, like a aluminum tin type of stuff around here. It's not solid brass, uh, so I don't like that because it's not solid. And then the rings are not solid. You'll notice on your higher quality locks, the weight difference. These weigh three times as much as this uh, because they're all solid material. So when you try and take a wrench and try and wrench that off of there or something, it's not going to work uh, because the it's solid and it's hardened steel, so it just slides right off of it. All three of these. Uh, high security locks, this not so much. So we're going to go ahead and put this back in here. And we're going to make sure that our... I always take the tail piece, like so, if it's facing this way, and turn it all the way back, like so. So you can have it like that, or you can have it like that. Then I give it a quarter turn. So it's sitting like this. It's going to go right in there. And right away we're going to know that we're okay, because we can grab that and we can move it and it moves the bolt in and out. Okay, so then we're gonna take that, slide that piece just right onto the tail piece like so. Make sure that you're operating nice and smooth, which we are. And tighten this up. Let's see if I can get this. Facing like so. To go ahead and get that started. Are we going into there? Ok, 
Okay. I like to make sure that we go ahead and tighten these two screws up as evenly as possible so you don't really tighten one all the way up. You just kind of tighten one a little bit snug and then let the other one catch up. Operating nice and smooth and then go ahead and start giving this, you know, just one or two or three turns. One, two, three. Until they're snug. You just want them snug. You don't need to go super crazy. But that way, if you tighten them together, you're not going to create any bending or anything like that. So now that we have those in there, we'll go ahead and put the screws for this. Make sure that it works with the keys. Get our keys. Right here. And boom. There we go. Operating nice and smooth. Uh, you can just, when, as soon as you install one of these high security locks and you install one of these right next to each other, uh, you just feel how much more solid these are. So uh, if you just needed the information on how to install this lock, great. Uh, but look for my series doing a high, a high security uh, versus non-high security lock comparison. There's going to be some really good information in there. So for more information, check out the website below.